You ask that in as you tell you, or you tell you, I don't know. The election? Yeah, you try. But when you talk to exams, you have to go around. If everybody would be like this. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you know what I have in English? Evaluation. It's not you are in that, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Uh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> This is a 
Jesus has come up with these things and giving me this. Of what? For effectively. Yeah? Yeah, come again, my dear. That's what I mean. Yes, I read. Okay. Normative evaluation is a process of gathering and analyzing. Gathering, analyzing, yes. Feedback during the development or implementation of a program, project, or product. It it identifies strengths, weaknesses, and areas for improvement, with the aim of making adjustments to improve the quality and effectiveness. Just for all information, uh, when the curriculum is being dropped, it is also well evaluated. During the time of implementation, there is also evaluation taking place. So, I actually uh, take the only, I mean, uh, I mean, yeah, I'm trying to give an example of the time period, period to implement or implementation of the curriculum. We are in a classroom set up like this one. We are so many of them, hundreds or sisters or fifties of us are students. It is right here. As is to see. How do you think this learner, this teacher, can actually evaluate his class or evaluate his lesson. By asking questions. By asking questions, please allow yourself to separate yourself. <laughs> 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 yes. By asking questions, that's one way of evaluating a class. Mm -hmm. Get it? Yeah. You ask a question. You may ask a question uh, before or what the lesson is. You might ask questions question in the course of teaching. Alright? That's for my thing. Ever question. Is it? Yes. It's an example of formative as you ask a question, as you ask, I mean, as you are teaching, you ask questions, you are able to know the partialities of your learners. To say, yeah, Jim, I think, you are able to able to replace your learners to say, I can replace your learners to say, I think that's one. A genius. It's one. Please. So,
that project. Get it? Yes, we have both formative and summative evaluation. We evaluate the project. As you progress with the project, you evaluate it. By the end of the day, you also sit down and make an evaluation. That's what you call summative. Something which is coming at the end. That's a matter. Thank you. Not that the officials are not, but they don't talk, and then the some who are busy. <laughs> Thank you. 
can end up over here. But the fact is, uh, it's about the scrutiny and the training of the facilitators. I say the waste of time and the waste of resources will be time of wars. To develop a curriculum at least, as the training is not provided. So, we talk about employment. Think about training as well. What does it mean? is 
design evaluation study. Evaluation is a phase in the curriculum development model as well as a specific step. Once again, evaluation, what is it? It is a phase in the curriculum development model as well as a specific point step. In the right team, to come to that one, what can you say? If you understand it, make this this point, then you come into that step. Planning evaluation 
Ready? Continent evaluation. All those steps need to be evaluated. So they're saying evaluation is the first in the curriculum, good model, as well as a specific step. Two types of evaluation, formative and summative, are used during curriculum wide development. Not only development, it is implementation. Use the lesson work. Yeah. Formative evaluations are used during the main assessment, project development, and the testing steps. 